things you should know about spiritual warfare. A lot of times we give up in our battle because we don't understand spiritual warfare. Here's five things to know. One, you have an enemy. His weapon is lies. His target is your mind. And his goal is to brainwash you against the truth and destroy you with lies about who God is and about who you are. Everything you hear that contradicts God's word is a lie. Things like God is not good or God doesn't care. God doesn't hear you. Or how about God doesn't speak to us. Or God is punishing me. They're all lies. Do not believe the lies. Two, fight spiritual with spiritual. Since the devil's weapon is lies, your weapon is the truth. God's word, the sword of the spirit, lay down your physical weapons like discipline, willpower, and your cultural mottos, mottos and slogans. They have zero effect against the devil. We wrestle with spiritual, with the spiritual. That's in six, Ephesians 6.12. And we must fight spiritual with spiritual. That's in 2 Corinthians 10.3. 3. Be still and let the word speak for itself and fight the battle for you. Jesus beat out the devil using only the sword of the Spirit. Luke 4 tells us all about it. Proving it is sufficient in winning our battles. That's right. How you feel is irrelevant in this game, and truth is truth whether you feel it or not. Sacrifice your feelings as an offering at the altar of obedience, and stand on God's word of truth. The word is fully capable of speaking for itself, and it doesn't need your help. 4. Submit yourself to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee. That's in James 4, 7. Submitting ourselves to God means turning over our entire lives and will into his care, and coming under his authority and leadership. It means closing all doors to the enemy and declaring Jesus the king of our home. Open doors, invite the devil in, and give him legal rights to harass us. Bitterness is an open door. Porn is an open door. Unrepented sin is an open door. The list goes on. Keep those doors closed. Don't entertain thoughts from the devil. Kick him out. Evict him from your brain. Evict him from your head and your mind. Don't debate with the devil. Don't dance with the devil. Resist him. Rebuke him, and he will flee. 5. Pray. Pray, pray. The devil will try to limit your praying because he knows your praying limits him. It doesn't matter if it's 300 words or three words. It doesn't matter. God hears your words and he listens to your heart. A heart felt, Lord help me, will go longer than any elaborate, apathetic monologue. Ephesians 6.11 says, Put on the full armor of God so that you will be able to stand firm against the schemes of the devil. 1 Peter 5a says, Be alert and sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Deuteronomy 31.6 says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Papa, in the name of Jesus, I bind every whispering spirit and strange voice that is said against my spiritual warfare training. I take authority over the spirits of imagery and magnific magnification. And I declare the eyes of my understanding are opened. Mind blenders and mind binders are blocked now. Forever bound in the name of Jesus Christ. I also bind forever the spirits of slothfulness slumber and demonic inertia from causing me to be sleepy when I am reading the Bible or anything about spiritual warfare in the name of Jesus Christ. Every deception is under my feet, and all spirits of doubt have no place in me. It is my purpose to tap into the unadulterated truth of God's word and wisdom. I am only I am open only to the Holy Ghost of Jesus Christ. I am not afraid. I am not afraid of anything new. Boldness is my portion. My spirit is open to agree only with the truth. And I love you, Jesus. Christ delivered through his Holy Ghost that bears witness. I renounce all the religious and familiar spirits that may have influenced on the way I received the truth and the way I received the truth of you in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Holy Ghost, I, I give you permission to deprogram my thinking about anything that has limited the greater works of Jesus Christ in my life. I commit to walk in the anointing of the Holy Spirit. All lies, strongholds that have built walls against the truth in my life are pulled down right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. The scales are forever removed and cast off of my eyes so that I may understand it may so that my understanding it may not be hindered in any way in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you that these words you have given us will sharpen my sword and give weight to your realm of influence in the spirit. In my spirits. These spiritual influence will affect every area of my life and everything that I put my hands on to do in Jesus' name. The spiritual influence will also anoint my steps. Wherever my footprints are, it will release a flow of your love and truth into the earth that will confirm dominion of Christ in my, in my life. I commit to the truth and believe that every area of my life, I will be made free. His living waters will permeate my loins and reproduce freedom in the lives of, of, of others. I sign up to be activated for the army of Jesus Christ. Father, I pray all these things. I believe all these things and I receive all these things into my spirit and life right now. In the mighty, precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. Amen.